taking it back to like the conversation about um, how it sort of affects accounting, uh, I think that what's interesting about you know everything that we've already said is that um, in fact GPT is a generalized model, uh, which means that its job is tr to try to give you a good enough answer about almost anything, right? Um, but you kind of lose something there because, because it's trying to basically appeal to a, an incredibly wide audience and an incredibly wide number of topics. Um, its ability to answer incredibly nuanced um, questions about something as specific as accounting can be uh, is not that great, right? Um, as an example, it can, it can tell you anything. It can give you any answer that might appear on uh, a given test, uh, you know, accounting test or something like that. Um, but if you tried to ask it a really specific question about a specific co uh, uh, company, um, like Chris was saying, uh, as companies become, you know, more unique to themselves and do accounting practices slightly different, uh, it's of course not going to have that information. And if you ask it to do something precise, um, it has a hard time with that. Again, because GPT was trained to be this generalized solution, right? Yeah. Um, and so I think that that's currently one of the limitations is because it, uh, it you know, the out-of-the-box uh, LLM models are basically trying to be everything to everybody. Uh, you can't get easily get them to... Um, give you the information that you need or get, or spit out the right answer that is going to be applicable specifically to your job. Mm -hmm. um, now, what I'll say is that there are all kinds of techniques, and I think that the future is using LLMs in a way to um, get those answers that you're looking for, right? Um, as an example, uh, there's something called RAG, which is basically when you uh, precede uh, the LLM with a bunch of information that's really specific to you and your company. Mm -hmm. uh, you basically, you know, give it an entire spreadsheet or give it an entire um, desktop uh, procedure and then have it answer a question specific to that desktop procedure. It can do that pretty darn well. Okay. Um, because you've You're, kind of preceded it with that information. The context. You, it's got the context. Narrowing the scope of what it needs to actually look at. And, okay. Um, so uh, I would say that you're right that uh, um, right now like a, a limitation is that like it is not out of the box applicable to a company's specific use cases. Um, but there are, are nuanced techniques to make that work. What I'll say is that even with something like RAG, uh, it's not easy. You know what I mean? It's actually rather difficult to get an LLM to give you really nuanced answers. And that's because it's not really trained to give you nuanced answers. It's trained to give you generalized answers. Yeah. Hence the G in GPT. Remember early on when you were investigating it, we we're talking about something and it was really good. We'd use it at studios actually for like writing some songs or blog posts or something. And then it was getting accounting questions wrong. And back to baseball, it was getting like basic baseball questions wrong, just that right. were, were facts that were, and I remember coming in and I was like, what is going, you're like, yeah, it's good at doing things where there's no right answer. You're right. And yeah, that's yeah. on the creative side. Like, yeah, there's not going to be a wrong way you wrote an email or drafted something to somebody, but... Right. Or make an image. image. Or make an image. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That, that's The imagery is so cool. You're like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. But right. you forget that in three out of the four ones that were put out, like the hands looked really weird or, or something to that effect. So right. I thought that was well put. That, that one has stuck with me since yeah. then, obviously. Yeah. When there's no specific <clears throat> wrong answer, it can do really well. Mm-hmm. 